Hey everyone and welcome to my latest video. In this video I'm going to show you how to download a video that you created inside your Facebook business page. So you might have gone live on your Facebook business page and now you want to download the video but also whilst you're in the video suite how do you actually optimize your video for replay? So in other words how do you add the captions, how do you change the thumbnail and how do you add a title? So I'm going to jump into Facebook and I'm going to show you first of all how to download the video and then secondly how to edit the video that's going to stay there. My name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital tech marketing coach and I help you to use the tools at your fingertips to get the visibility that your you and your business deserve. Okay so I'm going to jump into Facebook and we're going to look at that all important video. So we're inside of Facebook, I'm going to go to my page and now I want to actually download a video. So I've just done this live stream on my page and I want to download this so I can upload it to another platform. So the first thing I want to do is actually click the video itself. So I'm just going to click pause so that I can so that you can hear me talking. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the three little dots at the top right hand corner of my caption area. So this is the video area. Click on those three little dots and go to edit video. So click on there and go edit video. And this is where we get the video option. So we're going to go ahead and click video options. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you where to download the video. So what you do is you click these three little buttons here and you click download. So now you can download the video and it will store on your own computer. So I'm just going to pop this on here and click save. So it's going to download that stream or the video that I created on my Facebook business page to my computer. Now, whilst I'm here, I want to enhance this video for replay. So to do that, what I need to do, first of all, is give the video a title. So how to use video across social media. And then you can actually tag this. So you can actually add some tags. So I'm going to put Facebook video and you can put a comma or you can just press return. And then I'm going to put video marketing and I'm going to put video repurposing. And I'll come back and finish the rest in a little while. Now, I'm going to add some captions. So here is where you control the captions that you show on your replay. Now, I always have mine on auto-generated captions so that it generates the captions whilst I'm, whilst I'm live and also for replay. You can make them so that the captions, you can review the captions so there's any spelling mistakes or anything like that, you can alter those. You can also auto-generate subtitles and you can also upload an SRT file if you have one. So go ahead and change those as you wish. And then I'm going to go change thumbnail. So this is where it's really cool. You know, sometimes you get a video and it's got sort of catches you like this and you just say, oh, why has it chosen that thumbnail? Well, this is where you can change it. So you can choose suggested and therefore it will suggest one. So you can click through these and you can see the different ones that it might suggest, which is obviously what they've got here. You can choose from the video. So in other words, you can choose a frame from the video that you want to use as your thumbnail, or you can upload a an image, which you can then use as your thumbnail. So I'm gonna just grab an image that I've got already for this one. And I'm going to upload that in here now. So that's going to be my thumbnail image. Then all you have to do is click save, and it will save those video options for you inside of Facebook. As you can see now, it's got the video options that I've just done. And if you want to change anything here to say like the past tense, encourage people to leave comments or to sign up for a challenge or to sign up to get reminded when you're next live or any of those things, you can change this text here. And all that's left to do is click the save button and it's going to save all of those changes for you. So that's how easy it is to actually edit a video on your Facebook business page but also to download that video to your computer so that perhaps you might want to repurpose it in its full turn on another platform or cut snippets out of it 
so that you can use it as promotional material. So thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate you subscribing. Any questions about editing or downloading your Facebook video, do drop them in the comments below this video and I will answer them as soon as I get notified. Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon.